I have reviewed many wearable speakers, but this is the first time that I have reviewed a speaker that is an item of clothing. This is the Bumpin' Belt. This is literally a belt. It fits waist sizes up to 56 inches, and you can trim it to whatever size you want below that. Technically, it is a belt buckle topper held on with a strong magnet. But if you don't wish to wear it, you can simply remove it and install the fashion topper. If you don't wish to wear the speaker as a belt buckle, you could use its magnet to attach to a metal surface or to the included clip. Depending upon what you're reading, they claim that this speaker is waterproof or water resistant. I would err towards caution and assume that it could withstand a splash, but not immersion. One feature on the bump and belt that is different than other wearable speakers I have tried is its four gigabytes of internal memory. That's right, you don't even need a Bluetooth source to play music on your bump and belt. You can store between 800 and 1000 songs directly on your belt buckle in MP3 format. Now MP3 is not the only format that the bump and belt supports. It'll play just about anything out there. MP2, MP3, MP4, M4A, a wave, APE, FLAC, AAC, everything, AA, AIFF, everything. It, it's, it plays everything. They say the bump and belt has an all day battery. And what they mean by that is six hours or less. I know. So you should probably bring your charger with you and recharge it over lunch or something. Controls are fairly standard from a Bluetooth speaker perspective. My biggest concern is the center button. It's actually a rocker switch. Depending upon which side of the button you press, a long press might turn the power off or switch to SD card mode. Another feature that I found interesting is the hands-free calling option. That's right, from your belt buckle. Now the person that you're talking to sounds really good, but they said that I sounded garbled. I like magnetic mount speakers. I just think it gives you more listening options. And the magnet on this speaker is actually pretty strong, but it has a curved back. So you want to make sure that you are sticking it to a, a thin railing or some kind. You just have to be careful what you're sticking this on to, to ensure that you have a solid connection. How does the bump and belt sound? Well, I can honestly say this is the best sounding belt buckle I have ever heard. But compared to other speakers, it's, it's, it's okay. It's a three watt speaker built into a belt buckle. What do you expect? It's not that loud and it's all mid range, but you have the convenience of wearing this on a belt. I appreciate that Bump and Belts includes a 56 inch belt to give the big guys a chance to try this. I... I think, I don't think there will be a problem with your anatomy pushing the belt buckle off its magnetic mount. I can't guarantee it, but it's, it seems to be pretty strong. Um, it's worth a try. And even if it doesn't work for you on a belt, you can always just pull it off, attach the magnetic clip and wear it on your pocket. This is not a high fidelity product. But in the product category of belt buckle speakers, I think it stands alone. I am going to give this a 3 out of 5 star rating. It sounds about as good as an AM transistor radio, but it does everything it says it'll do. Thanks for stopping by.